well, we have se certainly found ourselves in a, in a, oh, hi Chica, how you doing? <laughs> Hey there, and welcome to Fazbear Entertainment Storage. This is a new FNAF fan game that came out about a couple days ago, and I was supposed to play this a little bit earlier, but I ended up playing it now, and it's right after an update went out for it, version 1.0.3, so even better, because it has apparently it's dealt with a lot of bugs and optimization issues, and so, you know, talking about perfect timing, I guess. So before I actually get into all this, uh, I'd like to say thanks for all the support that the channel's been getting recently. We're at 150 subscribers, which is absolutely nuts. I don't even know what I don't even know what the hell happened. It's literally only been a few weeks since I had 100 subscribers, so thank you for that, and thanks for the support in general. All right, so back to the game. So I'm gonna go through, I guess, the game jewel page real quick, see what it says to get a bit of context. So first off, this is a remake of a game that D.A. Michael, or Dumb Michael, made previously called Fazbear's Fright Storage. It says, did you miss us? You wouldn't just forget us, would you? No, of course not. A guilty conscience never lets go. We missed you. And so now for the story, it says it's been over a decade since the last Freddy Fazbear's Pizza closed down. Uh, the characters once beloved have slipped the minds of many, forgotten and broken down, many were beyond repair, and were salvaged par parts. At least that's what we were told. It's a revamp of Fazbear Fright's storage, new characters, new mechanics, new story, and more. And it takes place between what is considered a pretty large gap in the FNAF storyline, between FNAF 1, which is in 1993, and, in Fazbear, and FNAF 3, which takes place like 2020 in the 2020s, 2023, I don't know exactly what year, but usually like 20 to 30 year gap, which has never actually been explored, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So that large gap is when this game is taking place. So obviously you have a lot of different features. And so with that said, I'm curious to see what this is gonna be like. Already I will say that this manuscript, this Bonnie, reminds me heavily of like, the moment I, I see it, the green eyes, it makes me think instantly of Bonnie, of Toy Bonnie from A Golden Pass Chapter 2. The design in general is very reminiscent for me. And it's interesting that it's Toy Bonnie on the cover here because, where, as they said, this game's taking place between FNAF 1 and FNAF 3. And as you know, in FNAF 1, if, um, the toy animatronics are no longer, you know, around. They're pretty much gone. And so it's interesting that we have toy animatronics here, like in that weird gap. It, I don't, it's a bit, it's, it's interesting to say the least. But with that said, if you enjoy, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff, and the game's description. The game's description. The game's link will be in the description below. And so with that said, let's uh, let's let's get into this. Night one. Oh, look at that, it's a nice little Bonnie. Okay. Control or click on either entrance to use your flashlight. Um. Oh, I see. Oh, goy. Okay. If you're hearing this message, I wanted to thank you again for taking this job. I needed this position filled on very short notice, and your application couldn't have been more perfectly timed. My name is Henry, and like I informed you earlier, you will be Henry? receiving pre-recorded messages from me whenever you start a new shift. These messages will be used to help guide you through the week, or at least until you get your bearings. The building you're currently in is a storage facility which holds relics from a once popular children's pizzeria chain. The last pizzerias in this chain have been closed for a while now, and most of the objects in this building are even older than that, so this place has gone unwatched for quite some time. Regardless, all the equipment inside the building should still be suitably functional. Now, I'm afraid this job won't be as simple as sitting around in your office and checking cameras. Is it this ever? This building houses several decommissioned animatronic animals that once entertained children in those aforementioned pizzerias. Despite all the money that was poured into them, they were scrapped due to perceived malfunctions. I had my gripes about this choice, but regardless, they have been stored here for a while now. For most of that time, they've been gathering dust. However, Lately, I've been seeing signs of activity inside the building. 
I have reason to believe that someone has been tampering with the decommissioned animatronics and is attempting to reactivate them. Now, hmm. I don't think you'll have to worry about encountering whoever has been tampering with the animatronics during your shift. Yeah, okay. You should be more worried about the animatronics themselves. These animatronics were designed to freely walk around the building and entertain guests. And if someone has been actively tampering with them, it's likely that they'll be walking around the building during your shift. Now, I'm not sure what changes have been made to their AI, and that means I don't know how they'll react to the sight of you. With that in mind, we should prevent them from reaching you. You have a few tools at your disposal to help make it through your shift. You have been provided a camera panel that lets you remotely access all the building's cameras. Use these cameras to keep an eye on the animatronics and ensure none of them are moving. There is a separate set of cameras placed inside the air vents of the building. In your office, to your right, is a building status panel. You can use this to stay aware of the current status of the building's various systems. Most important is the building's power. Your power supply is limited and is consumed by several systems in the building. Your cameras do not consume additional power as they run on a separate unrestricted supply. Once the building's power supply reaches critical levels, several systems will shut down, such as the building's lights. With this in mind, you have also been provided with a flashlight to help illuminate the dark corners of your office. Your flashlight has its own separate battery, which is obviously unaffected by the building's power. In addition, you have been provided with a mask of one of the pizzeria's mascots. The animatronics in this building were once outfitted with advanced facial recognition software. If they get close enough to see you, you should keep them from recognizing you as human. Now, I'm not sure if the facial recognition is still functional on each of the animatronics, and it's not impossible that the mask won't work on any of them. But regardless, if any of them have their old facial recognition software still in use, the mask should protect you from them. Assuming the mask doesn't work, you have a few other options to protect yourself. You have an air vent that runs through your office. In the event that something undesirable were to crawl through it, you can close its opening to your office using a button. Keeping this closed does drain power, so don't leave it shut longer than you need to. I know it's a fairly makeshift solution, but I only had so much time to install it before your first shift. This should be all the information you need for your first night. Remember, your shift ends at 6, and at that point, you are expected to leave. Do not stay any longer than you need to. I'll have another message for you recorded before your next shift. Good luck. End message. Okay. <laughs> First off, wow, okay. Uh, uh, so much was in that. First off, this Chica, this Toy Chica looks ridiculously tall. Like, what the hell? And se second off, I, <laughs> I find this very hilarious. The, 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 I don't think I don't think there's ever been like a I don't think I've ever seen like officially in FNAF, at least in FNAF I don't think in FNAF there's ever been a, I don't think Bonnie's ever had a tail uh, like a you know like a bunny tail and so when I first saw that that caught me off guard so quickly I was like what <laughs> but you know moving on these are very decrepit toy animatronics which I guess makes sense considering they haven't been used in like uh, maybe at least like 10 15 years assuming depends how far we're in the in that time gap you know what i mean like is it early 2000s late 2000s who knows but overall this game looks pretty incredible like boy i, I gotta i gotta stop with the flashlight i, I gotta calm down uh oh wait where did oh boy oh Uh, oh, ah, two pals. Jesus, that was creepy as hell. So okay, all right. So in terms of the mask mechanic, hi there, Chica. Oh, 
You don't, you don't, I just, re these animatronics are essentially like, they are essentially the wither toy animatronics. Literally a fusion of the wither animatronics and the toy ones. Let's see what our good friend Henry completing your first shift. has to tell However, us. However, if I am correct in my assumption that these animatronics are being actively tampered with, I'm Probably. afraid your job is likely to increase in difficulty as the week continues. <laughs> I will do my best to slowly introduce you to your responsibilities here, so as not to overwhelm you. I'd like to take this moment to remind you about the functionality of this building's power. In the event that you encounter a building-wide power outage, do not assume that you are defenseless. Your cameras operate on a separate power supply, and mm -hmm. will continue to function even if the building goes dark, although you may not be able to see much. Your flashlight's battery is not tied to any other system and can therefore continue to be used to brighten up your office once the lights shut down. Your mask is, of course, unaffected by a loss <laughs> of power. However, that Thank does goodness. not mean that you should not worry if the building loses power. You will be unable to seal any openings in the building's ventilation system, including the one located in your office, and all currently sealed vents will open. Further, the three main cooling fans located in the vents, which maintain the building's temperature, will immediately shut down, and your office will begin to heat rapidly. Please keep this in mind. You will receive a more thorough explanation on the cooling fans tomorrow night. All Good right. luck. End message. Okay, so that's pretty much this system, which uh, clearly monitors like the building temp, and here you have building power. But it's not something I have to worry about right now. So then what's this? At the t so... All right, so hold on. So just, just making sure Freddy's chilling, Mangle's chilling. Okay, so this is building power. It doesn't seem to be affected by. It, I don't have to worry about that right now. First of all, okay. So they talked about. He mentioned several vents that you could seal. I don't know what that means. Also, I'm noticing that um, these cameras or rather the vent cameras have like very like this like to the left of camera 12 right and right below camera 13 as well as on top of camera 10 there's like these little like edge markings on like the i guess the layout for the vents so i wonder if that's because uh that indicates like that's the entrance for the vents but i'm not entirely sure yet I don't think so because camera seven. Oh no no, this isn't a vent though. Oh. Oi. Okay, bye toy Bonnie. All right, Chica. All right, time to get used to Chica's uh, route right now. Where does Chica go? So Chica looks like so based on where Bonnie goes. Bonnie goes through the side vent. Toy Bonnie. Uh, I say toy. I mean I say toy Bonnie, but I'm assuming they're. Oh, great. They have multiple routes. That's going to make things... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Oh, maybe that's where... Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. So here, for example, I think Chica is entering the vents, whereas Bonnie is going through the sides. So... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to keep... I'm losing track right now. Hold on. Bonnie's about to enter through that bloody hatch. Where is Chica? Where's Freddy? Oh, hey, Freddy. Oh, boy. Hi there, Bonnie. Bye, Bonnie. Hold on, where's Freddy? All right, there's Freddy, there's Freddy, there's Freddy. Oh, sure. Oh, what the hell? Wait, so how do I know when it's safe to like open this? Is it not safe still? Oh. Shoot. Oh. Uh. What was that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, cause I literally heard that on my right. And I got really worried for a second. Because I thought Bonnie... Not Bonnie. 
I thought Chica got inside the office, and I was about to say how the hell that happened. But, I think that actually answers my question. Because Chica, so there's like these little edge markings for the vents, right? And it showed Chica, like, kind of exiting the vent into camera 8. So, I think these are like entrances and exits. So, like, camera 6 you can enter. Or, like, from camera 6 you can enter the vent. From camera 3 you can enter the vent. And from camera 8 you can enter the vent. But those are the only ones. So, those are the only one entrances I have to worry about. Alright. Alright, alright. So, now Chica's back here at the beginning. So, the question is, where is Chica gonna, gonna go now? That's, okay, so that, was, that was pretty cool, like, the surround sound of that. Alright, so it seems like Chica literally goes in, like, a circle. Alright, so Chica's literally gonna go... Chica's literally gonna go into the vent, right now. But I didn't... Ah, oh, damn it. Darn, because I didn't see Chica in the vent cameras. And I don't know why... I, didn't, I don't know why, whether I just missed her, or if there's something else about those cameras. And so, as a result of that, it was, um, I'm still trying, I wonder if, like, would be a viable way to track her, because so far, it'd be kind of dangerous to try and just rely on seeing Chica show up in the vent. So I think that might be a bit worrying to do. But so far, that's pretty nice. I enjoy that. Uh, I think we can do one more night. I normally do two nights, I realize. Like, I realize I try to stick to, like, two nights. Like, I usually have, like, the first video be nights one and two, then nights three and four, and then night five being the finale. Assuming there's no night six, of course. But, I don't know. It's manageable. Now, Mangle's gonna be an interesting one. I think Mangle's gonna be another vent animatronic. Excellent work, these We're learning about the fans. That being said, I would like to take this time to warn you about another system listed in your status panel. Yes. Being the building's temperature. The temperature of the room you're currently in is maintained by three large fans within the ventilation system, which are constantly running. If these fans were to in any way malfunction, the building's temperature would begin to heat up rapidly. You are able to seal access to the fans remotely through your camera panel. Sealing vents will not affect the building's temperature. However, having a vent sealed will drain power. The operational status of all three fans are listed on your status panel at all times. Keep this information in mind. I trust that this new information won't be too much for you to handle. I'll have another message for you tomorrow. Good luck. And so, okay. So the whole point of sealing them is to make sure that none of the animatronics can accidentally like bump right into them. But the question is, how do I know when I need to seal them? Sealing them will consume power. Alright, I get that. Um, but... Hey, Mangle. I, where's your head? What the hell? I can't even identify a head of there. That is a bit much for me. Mangle... Alright, so I have to keep track of Mangle now as well. Where'd Mangle go? Alright, so... Oh, there's Mangle's head. Mangle, you look a bit bigger than normal. Did you, like, bulk up or something in the last, like, couple years? Alright, so like, for example, I have to worry about, so these three cameras have fans. So I think that's why I can't see anyone through those vents, because, or through those cameras I should say, because they're not designed, I think they only show up here if they're gonna go to the vents, maybe. I'm not, uh, it's still a bit, uh, we'll, we'll have to find out. Uh, alright, so Bonnie's, alright, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, Buster. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? That was so quick! Alright, so... It seems like you might want to rely on Chica in terms of an audio cue, I guess. You know, you don't want to really... Oh. Alright, so, okay. You know what? I understand how you... I don't have to worry about Chica anymore. I think that was Mangle. Yep. Alright, alright, so I can see Mangle here. So here's the question, so it's like, do, if I see Mangle here, right, do I then seal camera 13? That's where I'm trying to figure out, was Chica always looking at that camera before? Shoot, 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 hold on, I'm... 
Hold on, hold on. I gotta be careful. Freddy is like... Alright, we're gonna seal the camera. We're gonna seal... Oh, God. Oh god damn it. I, you know I have bad timing but that was just Oh so so now we would toggle it, right? So okay, okay, so that is how that works. Toggle map. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't Hold on, hold on. Toggle the seal. So that's how that works. All right. All right. So Bonnie isn't done. That. Okay. 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 So that's where they're all at. What is that? Ooh. All right. Nope. No. 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 Don't. Uh oh. I don't. What do, what do I do about Balloon Boy? Do I- I'm gonna treat Balloon Boy like the- Get the hell out of here, Freddy. Creep. Aw. Oh, he ate one of my vents. That's not good. He ate one of the vents. When the hell did he- Okay. Not good. Alright, so I, I have an idea now. Of how to deal with this. Oh, no you don't. So I wonder- so- does Mangle only go after the vents? I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Freddy is like... Alright, so Chica's getting back inside. Oh! Oh, Freddy, you creep. Wait, so why did my bat... Huh? Oh, well... Well, we have se certainly found ourselves in a, in a... Oh. Hi, Chica. How you doing? Oof! I guess we're not doing so good. Watch your building power. So, it must have been the seal. I must have... I think... Okay. With Mangle, look at the ceiling... Look at the vent camera specifically. All right, and you know, don't like be careful of your seals. So it's like if you're gonna seal a camera or a vent, I should say. If I'm gonna seal the vent, I gotta keep an eye on Mangle, make sure that you know Mangle's not there, so I can unseal it. Because I think that's what happened. I left it sealed too long, and literally it just sucked the the building dry. For a second, I almost forgot Freddy was a thing. So let's see, Mangle, don't need to worry about Chica's. Making the round. What? What? A, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't even realize that. Chica's in the vents. Yep. <laughs> Chica's is like, ayo. Oh. They both tried doing a double whammy, but I am not here for it. Let me just say that. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Where's Mangle? Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Get out of my fans. <gasps> no! See? Damn, but this is kind of tough. If you're not, like, careful. So yeah, so I think Mangle literally stays on camera 11. And will... And will literally, like, go... In between. Alright, so that's where those three are. Okay. So you see, no need to seal anything. Oh god. Half building power? How am I at half? I did not seal anything that long. What? Also, I'm, I'm so I'm I'm, very, I'm definitely com so. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, you don't. So, who is that? Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I was about to say. All right, so. 
shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh god, get out of here, Freddy. Alright, so I don't okay, never mind. I think I was overreacting with the building power a bit. Balloon Boy is right behind Bonnie. Chica's in the middle. Freddy's all the way at the back. That's perfect. Alright, so that you do that. Alright, perfect. Nope. Do not just toggle the seal, you clown. Do not just toggle the seal. So the flashlight bat So the flashlight battery is indeed separate. There we go. Okay. Flashlight battery is separate from building power. Which they said, but I just need to make sure that the top left icon was for the battery power for your flashlight. So it is. How am I already on night four? What the hell? <laughs> but alright. That's that was fun. That was a good first three three nights. I love I'm loving that so far. I like the design quite a lot. It reminds me a lot of a golden past and just like the fluid animations and just like here like you can the fluid animations for like when chica literally pops out of the vent or freddy's sitting at that hallway which now that i think about it that like that like gave me like that just made me think of naf pt whenever um you have to scare freddy off from like the closet and you have to like you would always like as soon as you send the light on him he just zips away so i just remind me of that but with that said, if you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff, subscribe, and if you want to check this game out for yourself, it'll be in the description below. And with that said, I hope to see you in another video. Take care. Also, I love this. Maybe I'll use this.